This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Chromebook 11 N7C731, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Chromebook N7C731. Okay, before we get started, some things we need to go over. Uh, first, the tools we're going to use. Uh, we have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We also have a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver. A hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to uh, remove adhesive tape. A pair of metal tweez tweezers to remove screws or to manipulate wires. And a metal spudger that we use for prying. Also, um, we can find out the model number of the laptop on the bottom. On the bottom, you see C731 here. It says N7 on the box. There's also a C731 series here. You see uh, N7 on the box, but you do not see it on the Chromebook itself. All right, for Chromebooks, there's no removable battery. For this Chromebook, there's no removable battery and the laptop has to be off when we're working on it. So when you open and close a Chromebook, it usually turns on. This one doesn't, but it usually turns on. And the way to turn off is either do it through the software or do a long press of the power button and that should turn off the laptop. So once we do all that, the first order of business is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And we do that by using our fingertips, our fingernails, and looking for a spot where we can grip the bezel. And we found a spot here. And when we do that, we pry upward and outward and work our way around the screen to snap off the screen bezel. And we keep going. For this particular model, there's no screws securing the screen bezel. To the screen assembly so it comes off pretty easily. Next thing is to remove the screen from the screen assembly. We have two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom and we're going to do that now. So one and just keep your screws in a single pile so you don't lose them. There's only four screws in this one so it's not too much of a problem. That's three. And finally, four. Once we do that, we grab the screen by the tabs, by the metal tabs, and lay it down, being careful not to press the power button here while we do it. Next, there's some adhesive tape securing the connector to the back of the screen. So we'll use the hobby knife to lift up the adhesive tape. This is pretty strong one, it has a strong grip, that's okay. And then once we lift up the adhesive tape, there's a metal bar under the adhesive tape. So we use our hobby knife Let's get a close-up to lift up the metal bar. And once we do that, we grab the connector by the back, making sure that the metal bar is still lifted up, and then slide out the connector like so. Let me do it again just to make sure. Okay, we slide it in, and then we slide it out. When we putting a new screen in, Make sure that two sides of the connector are flush with each other and you have a proper connection so the bar can snap back in. Okay, now let's take a look at the screen. This is a 11.6 inch EDP screen standard WXGA resolution with side mounting brackets and it has a matte finish on it. The part number is N116WHM-N21. So uh, when you order this screen, 
most likely you will not get the same part number, which but there are several maker several brands of screen that are compatible. Just make sure it has the mounting brackets on the side. It has a 30 pin EDP connector and if you prefer matte finish it has a matte finish. We at Screen Surgeons sell this screen. You can order it from us. To do this go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out. Just enter your laptop model number and then we'll guide you to buy the right screen online. What you get with us is this exact same toolkit. It comes for free with every screen that we sell. We also offer free email technical support and a two-year warranty. Also, we have free shipping within the United States. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. And just follow the regular checkout procedure and then select your country. Also, uh, this is a Chromebook, so many schools use it. We work with many schools around the country and to supply Chromebook screens and other parts to them. And we do accept purchase orders and we have volume discounts for schools. So uh, to contact us regarding school purchases, go to our website, www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a tab at the top that says schools and that will guide you further how to contact us. Okay, uh, once you do get your new screen in, reconnect the connector like I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the four screws in, two at the bottom, two at the top. And then snap on the screen bezel. And that's it. And if everything goes well, your laptop should be working again. Okay, once again, my name is Eugene Panmitkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.